And that I will. That I will. Faithfully discharge the duties. Faithfully discharge the duties. The office of mayor. The office of mayor. Of the city of Chicago. City of Chicago. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Sir, you are installed. Brandon Johnson has been sworn in as Chicago's 57th mayor, inheriting a deeply divided city of more than 2.5 million people in the midst of a crime wave and an immigration crisis. Johnson is a union organizer and former public school teacher, with the majority of his campaign donations coming from unions and a record amount from teachers' unions alone. Hundreds of people flocked to the Credit Union One arena to watch Johnson swearing in, including city leaders, state officials, and 1,300 students. The overarching theme of the new mayor's inauguration speech was bringing a divided city back together. Johnson acknowledged Chicagoans who did not feel safe in their city. Too many Chicagoans, though, fear for their safety because our city's homicide and violent crime rates have consistently outpaced our peer cities. And admitted there were not enough resources going toward mental health or education. Too few can rely on the consistent access to mental health care that they desperately need. He also spoke about the state of emergency declared in the city, over thousands of illegal immigrants being bused to Chicago by Texas Governor Greg Abbott. We don't want our story to be told that we were unable to house the unhoused or provide a safe harbor for those who are seeking refuge here. When Johnson first got into the mayoral race, he pulled low with the other candidates writing him off early. When he did win, it sent shockwaves through the city and ushered in a new era for Chicago politics. 